Okay, I'm here with the guys from Hiatus. How's it going? Good, how good, are you? good. Cool. You're on the tour with Kills Engage Engaging Silosis. How's it been? It's been a lot of fun. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's like this, the venues that we're playing, the crowds we're playing in front of, just the bands that we're even on tour with. Like, you know, it's, this is humbling. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> a lot of fun hanging out with these guys. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you've uh, just you've released your EP, and it's quite rare that a band comes all the way over from America with just an EP. What's it like just touring off maybe only you know six tracks or this is it? It's, uh, it's, it's so, it's, uh, how do I say this? It's very surprising, uh, the things that our six song EP has done for the band. Like, I mean, we literally did not expect, um, to even let alone be signed to Roadrunner in the first place. Uh, and we didn't expect them even when we did sign to say, oh, we're going to put this EP out. We like it, you know? Like, you know, most of the time labels they're just they, they love the, the demos that you send them and they're like oh let's, cool let's get you in the studios do a full length that didn't happen it was just we want your music the way it is and just put it out there and uh it's definitely it's definitely exciting because we get to literally show people exactly what was on our mind when we did the record like when we play our music like what's on our mind it's self-produced like you know and uh so to be able to go out and be here with self-produced music, I know a lot of bands can't really say they, they do that very yeah. often. So, Well, that's really great to hear, and it's quite interesting you went for Roadrunner because it's, it's sort of an era where it's almost become so much more DIY, you know, sort of this genre of music. What made you go for probably the biggest rock label there is? Well, the, f the thing is, like, we, uh, there, we, want, we threw a lot of rock influence into our music to begin with. You know, we obviously have a lot of heavy elements in it, but... Um, you know, we we were all, we were gonna do it by ourselves. We were, we're gonna. The original idea was to record the music, send it to show promoters in the local area to try to start playing shows. And uh, one of those promoters in the area uh, wrote us back and says, I, "I'm a A and R for Roadrunner." You know, like we were. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I like the music. Can we talk? Like, oh, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, it, it it was. It was almost like we kind of stumbled on Roadrunner. So when they, when the, when they expressed interest in us, it, it was pretty much easy for us to sit there and say, "Dude, it's Roadrunner!" Like, <laughs> you know, yeah. if, like if they like what we're doing with our music right now, like we need to, I mean, let's just let's take it and run with it. You know. Cool. I mean, you've obviously gone from playing some smaller shows to some massive ones like here, and we we've come all the way from North Wales today, and no one ever goes to North Wales. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I it's mean, just us and shit. It's not. It's, it's, it's <laughs> absolutely nothing there. And I mean, what's it like playing the smaller places where you don't get much live music? Because the bands always say to us, "Oh, we wish we could come there," because people go crazy when you go to the places where they're not used to it. You know? Yeah. Well, there's there's places that we go to like. Uh, even you know in the states, like there's smaller cities we'll, that we'll go to, and the fans that come to the shows, they always one of the first things they always say is, "Thank you so much for coming here. Bands don't come here at all, you know." Like you know, like we've like done like a number of shows where people have like really expressed that. It's like, a lot more intimate, smaller venues, and mm -hmm. people are a lot more. I wouldn't say appreciative, but you get to see a lot more of the fans. The the actual connection you have with them in smaller venues, it, it's mm -hmm. it's very tangible, like uh, for a band. Um, and I mean, obviously, the playing in front of these bigger crowds is awesome because you know, there's some shows where people just lose their mind from the start <laughs> of the song, you know, first song. Like, yeah. um, for us being so new out here, you know, the the enthusiasm that they have for us, in, like in a big venue or even a small venue, it's been it's been positive and very well received. I think, like, yeah. So. Well, as as a new band, obviously, we've heard your EP. It's great, but and it's kind of quite different and. Do you, are you guys planning on keeping changing your sound? Are you going to be a band that's constantly evolving, or do you think you've got your sound that you like and you're going to stick to that? It's it's evolving. Yeah, yeah. it's it's we like we kind of wrote the music with evolving in mind. Like we we already had it in mind that we, that's what we wanted to do. So when we wrote the music, we didn't do just like an all heavy record, you know, or an all rock record. Like we kind of just like straight down the middle like put a tran like started the music in a transitional phase already so when we do evolve musically like hopefully it translates well to fans you know that follow us along in our in the future of our, like our future albums and things like that so it, le it leaves the door open to go either way yeah exactly awesome. well what's uh, the plan in terms of where you're going to take the band physically to 
touring, uh, you know, what, what's the future plan part is? Uh, like immediate plans, we have another tour right as soon as this tour ends, back in the States uh, with Crown the Empire, Capture the Crown, awesome. Palisades. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, and then uh, after that tour ends at the end, it, end of May, we go home, we uh, get to take two months, two months off. We're going to be doing a lot of writing for the album. So, yeah, we, we yeah. haven't been home in two months. And then after that next tour, it's going to be three months. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, some of our listeners might not be as familiar with uh, your music, so can you guys now pick us one song that you think sums up your sound and why? For me, I think Disconnected does the trick with it. It's It's got a perfect blend, in my opinion. We really like kind of touched a strong base with that song, I think, with, uh, with that element of heavy, but it's not super heavy. The element of catchy, and then, you know, like it goes back and forth dynamically in the song of... Um, of having that heaviness, but still having like a memorable, you know, melody and things like that. You know, like um, the rest of the songs when we put them together, like it def- I feel that disconnected kind of set the tone for um, the the way that the rest of the music was going to be written and things like that. 